Hello everyone, welcome to Endu Technology. Now I am going to introduce ETS IoT Trainer Kit. IoT Trainer Kit is an all-in-one prototyping platform for sensor-based IoT projects. It's packed with state-of-the-art sensor technology and ready-to-use software applications and also it is capable of fulfilling all your IoT application needs. It contains inbuilt Raspberry Pi 3 with all-in-one sensor platform to enable infinite IoT application prototype possibilities. This ETS IoT Trainer Kit can be used for interfacing sensors and accessing data from the sensors, IoT applications, Bluetooth enabled or Bluetooth related applications, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Also, we can use this kit for project development and prototyping. Let us see what is ETS IoT Trainer Kit. IoT Trainer Kit consists of a Raspberry Pi 3, 3 red, green, blue LEDs, 2 push buttons, 3 relays, 10 bit 8 channel analog to digital converter, 1 OLED display, buzzer and onboard sensors such as ADXL 345 accelerometer and SHT 31. For external access, the following ports are available. First one is UART port, then SPI port, another one is I2C port. If you come here, then you can see 10 bit 8 channel analog to digital converters. Then below that you can see the GPIO pins. It is directly connected to the Raspberry Pi. And here you can see the IO expander pins. These pins can be also be configured as input or output. Then another Let us work with IoT Trainer Kit. First, we will see how to write a simple Python code in Raspberry Pi. Open programming and select Python 3 IDLE. Then, a Python shell window will be opened. So, here we can write the code. So, I am going to write a simple welcome message. Let us see how it is. So now you can see a welcome message uh, in the shell window. If you want to create a new file, go to file, then new file. So a uh, unnamed file will be opened. Here we can write the code. So after writing the code, we have to save the file. So automatically the file will be saved in .py format. Now I am going to write a message, welcome to ETS IoT Kit. So after this I have to save the file, file, save. So we have to name it. So I am going to save the file in desktop. Then go to run, run module. Now you can see the message in the shell window. Next we are going to see the source code details. This IoT trainer kit is coming with basic python codes for the sensors and peripherals. To access source code, we can go to pi directory. This is Pi directory. Inside the Pi directory, you can see a demo code folder. Open the demo code folder. So here you can see interfacing programs for red, green, blue LEDs, switch, buzzer, ADXL 345, SHG31, ADCs, OLED, relay, Bluetooth, ThingSpeak Cloud, and MQTT applications. Also, this folder contains a documents folder which has the complete manual of the kit as well as the data sheets of the sensors. Also this contain external sensor codes and testing file for the entire kit 
and python tree libraries and a readme file for the entire kit information let us see an example about red green blue leds we can go to the red green blue led folder and open the file so we can open rgb led.py file so this is a corresponding python code for red green blue leds if you come down you can see the logic behind this program if you want to run this program go to run then run module as a result of this you can see the status of leds in the form of messages now you can see red led is on red led is off then blue led is on then blue led is off then green led is on green led is off so as a result of this you can see the status of leds in the hardware now blue led is on the description about the red led is on and green led is on now we are going to see how to interface more number of leds and switches for that we can open io expander program so you can go to run and run module so you can see the status of the pins in the form of led on led off like that so if you have extra leds and switches you can connect to this particular pins in the ets iot kit and you can configure these pins either as input or output and you can utilize it So let us see how to access buzzer. So open the folder and open switch buzzer program. So here, whenever you press the switch, that time the buzzer will be on. So you can go to run and run module. Now you can see buzzer is off. Whenever you press the button. then the buzzer will be on the status will be also printed here next we are going to access the data from adxl 345 axrometer go to the corresponding folder and open the file so this is the program for adxl 345 here it will provide the values in x axis y axis and z axis now you can see the values in x axis y axis and z axis if you turn the kit in x y and z direction then the values will be changed if you want to see the humidity and temperature we have a sensor that is called shg31 open the folder and open the program so this program will provide the data from shg31 sensor this sensor is already available in the ets iot kit go to run and run module now you can see the temperature and humidity on the screen next we are going to see how to access analog to digital converter open adc folder and open the program so this is the program for accessing analog to digital converter if you observe the program you can see that how many channels enabled here now i have enabled only one channel remaining channels are commented so that means i am going to access only one channel 
for getting the data. If you want all the eight channels, you have to enable the lines. Also, you have to enter the sprint statement corresponding to the channels. Here you can connect any analog sensors to the pins. Correspondingly, you will get the output. Let us run this file. Now you can see the ADC value corresponding to the value which is available at the pin number uh, A0 or the channel 1. Now you can see here initially 3.29 volt because I have connected 3.3 volt supply to the channel 1. Now I have connected ground pin to the channel 1. So now you can see 0 volt is available. So next we are going to see the OLED display and its demonstration. Open the folder. Open OLED message dot py file here a message will be printed on this screen this is the program for OLED if you come down you can see the font which I have used in this program and also you can see the message the first line will print hello second line will print ETS IOT kit and third line some asterisk symbols here you can remove this message and you can enter your own messages so we can go and run this file as a result of this we can go to the hardware and we can see the output in the same folder you can see an image folder Inside that one program is available, that program will display an image that is a bitmap image on the OLED display. So we can run this file. So if you observe the OLED display in the hardware, you can see the corresponding image. Now we are going to see how to access the relay. Open the relay folder and open the relay program and run the program. Now you can see the status of the relay. Here three relays are on initially then it will go to off. This process will happen every two seconds and the same process will be repeated again and again. We can go to the hardware and see the output. Here I have connected a 230 volt bulb to the relay. As a result of the program, every 2 seconds the light will be on and it will go to off. Next we are going to work with Bluetooth. Open the Bluetooth folder. Also you have to turn on the Bluetooth. Then make it discoverable. Before going to run this program, your mobile phone should be paired with Raspberry Pi. Now my mobile phone is not connected with Raspberry Pi. I am going to open the program. Now you can see it is connected. Redmi 8A in green color. Then run the program. Then run the program. After running the program, you can open Pi3 Bluetooth Manager. So this app is available in the Play Store. And you have to select the MAC address of the Raspberry Pi board. Then it will be open a window like this. Here you can enter the commands. If you enter on, then the corresponding three relays will be on. If you enter off, the corresponding relays will be off.
Next, we can see the MQTT application using ETS IO ticket. Open the folder, open MQTT application file. That is, we are going to control relays using mobile application. Here we are using IoT MQTT panel mobile application for controlling the relays. So when you run this file, you can see enter command message in the screen. After that, you can open the MQTT panel mobile application, open the corresponding dashboard and enter the corresponding widget that is keys. So if you click on on relay, the corresponding relay will be on. And if you click on light, the corresponding light will be on. Also, we can monitor the status of sensors in the same application. Now we are going to see how to upload the data in the cloud. Here I am going to use ThingSpeak Cloud to upload the data. And in this program, I am going to upload temperature and humidity in the ThingSpeak Cloud. For that, I have enabled two fields to update the temperature and humidity. We can go to API keys in the ThingSpeak Cloud and copy the right API key. Then in this particular link, in the place of key, we have to paste the corresponding key. If you want to write any data in the cloud, we have to use the write API key. Then you have to save the file. After that, you can run the file. Now you can see the humidity and temperature. So this data will be updated in the cloud after 20 seconds. You can go to private view. There you can see the data. So field number one is temperature and field number two is humidity. Also you can see the live updates. If you come back to the program, there you can see time dot sleep 20 seconds. So minimum we have to provide 20 seconds for the proper updation. 